Thank you for all the Entra fans. Security Copilot in Microsoft Entra will help you to simplify your world. People have told us, okay, we love security defaults. So now let's do conditional access. So we are now going to create baseline conditional access policies for you and roll them out automatically. Eventually, Security Copilot will analyze your entire environment alongside the evolving threat signals we gather to recommend conditional access policies that's tailored just for you. And later this year, it will secure access to all internet applications and resources. And since internet access and private access are part of the Microsoft Entra portfolio, they share a universal conditional access policy engine with all other Microsoft products. And there are even more new capabilities that we're announcing as a part of Microsoft Entra. So please check out my blog post for more information. Let's say I'm a brand new employee at this company called Woodgrove. So Woodgrove has sent this email to my personal account. So that's gonna include the next step, which is to verify my identity using LexisNexis. So I don't need to go to the nearest Woodgrove office anymore to show off all my paperwork and get, you know, my ID and everything checked out. Instead, I'm gonna go ahead and use LexisNexis risk solutions to identify myself. So I'm gonna go ahead, take my selfie, and then I'm gonna upload my government issued ID. So it's gonna verify my information and my verification is complete. Awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and add this to my authenticator wallet. This right here is gonna be a verified ID. I'm gonna go ahead, share that verified ID with this Woodgrove employee portal and I'm done. Okay, let's continue onboarding. Now let's come back to this email. The last step here is to collect my temporary access pass. And once I do this, I should finally be able to onboard. So I'm gonna go ahead, share this one more time. And here we are. I now have my email and my one-time temporary access pass. And now I can actually onboard. Adding my work account, obviously. And now I'm going to sign in. But I'm just gonna put my email in that temporary access pass in, and now I'm done. I'm completely onboarded, and I've done everything so far on just my phone. I'm gonna go ahead and put my email in, so that's the email I just got, and I'm gonna go ahead, and now I have to enter a password, but I never set one up. So let me go ahead and use an app instead. So now I'm getting a prompt on my phone and it's asking me to go ahead and sign in. I know I'm the one doing this, so I'm gonna put 52 in, which is what my computer has asked me to do. And I'm good, awesome. So let's come back to my computer and here we are. Everything is getting set up for me and it's totally passwordless. Everything that you've seen so far has been automated using Microsoft Entra. So now it wants me to use my face to sign in faster and more securely. Let's go ahead and set up. I have to use Windows Hello. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to set up my pin and I'm gonna let Windows take care of the rest again. Hi everyone. Uh, so we saw a number of really cool technologies all working together right there. And it all kicked off with Jade received an email. And straight away there's the co-pilot saying, hey, can I be of help? Yes, yes you can. It's giving me suggestions. If I'm not 100% sure of what I want to do, it's giving me some ideas for, well, maybe you want to go through these types of activities. But I've got a pretty good idea, so I'm just gonna paste this in, of what I want it to do. So I'm saying, hey, look, I wanna trigger this off of the joining, it's this type of employee. And it's saying, well, do you want to customize these tasks? And it's giving me the idea of the email. So yes, I'm gonna paste in a subject. I've got my own body. So this is all within still the co-pilot. It's guiding me through key stages I'm probably gonna want to do. I'll hit okay. And at this point, I think I'm good, and I'll let it go ahead and create a draft. 
Now it's only creating the draft object, I can still customize it. So today I'm pleased to make a couple new announcements. First, we are bringing pass keys to Microsoft Authenticator. So you will be able to create and manage pass keys using Authenticator. And then second, you can now create device-bound pass keys in Authenticator. So this will give you the same level of security as FIDO2 security keys, but it is a lot more convenient and frankly less expensive than purchasing all the separate security keys for all of your users. What internet access is going to enable me to do is for any website, maybe non-federated status application, I can, through this same global secure access client, well, it's going to establish a channel once again to the Microsoft Entra Edge. But this time we can define security profiles. Now these can contain fully qualified domain names of sites. It could be web categories. So it's really acting as a secure web gateway and we apply conditional access. So that first site, well, it's in a category that it was just blocked. It did not allow it. It will send a positive health state back to the conditional access. And then, unless this is a really terrible demo, um, should be able to go and actually access that site. And that's a really old school UNC link to a file share. And I, I mean that. Prior to these Ignite rehearsals, I'd never seen a UNC link. So <laughs> let's click that. OK, it's asking me to re-authenticate. So let's grab my phone. It's sending a notification. I'm going to go ahead and approve that. And here's the video in an archived folder. Cool. <laughs> cool. But the goal this is trying to really emphasize here is it doesn't just have to be a TCP, HTTP-based application. It's any app that is TCP or UDP. It doesn't matter. It could be SSH, RDP, SMB. It does not care. But the key point is, remember, this is still verifying explicitly every single action, every single resource I want to see. So it's still applying conditional access. I can require things like MFA. With zero change to that target resource, it doesn't have to be aware of Entra or what MFA is. We're doing the connection to the Entra edge. It is enforcing the conditional access. It makes sure the user, the device, whatever that is, and only if it's healthy is it then allowing it to pass through. And this really is the key difference. Uh, again, we talk about, we're used to the idea of, hey, we have a VPN, and with a VPN, we hey, once we're connected, we get this very broad network access. This is not that. The whole point of this solution is it's only connecting to the entry edge where we verify explicitly everything we do. We're only allowing through that micro-segmentated bit of network traffic. So we're really focusing on those zero trust principles. De facto authentication. Now at this point, um, I could go to the conditional access tab. I could look at the authentication details. I could look at five events around it, or I can go and look at Copilot. So in this case, I'm just gonna ask it, why was Mike prompted for MFA? And the key point what Security Copilot can do here is if I have permission to those records, it can act on my behalf and look at the surrounding records as well, and in this case, see the complete authentication flow. It's identifying all of the conditional access policies that applied, and it's probably that number three is the one I'm caring about, but it's showing me, yes, they were prompted for MFA, but I can also then see that, well, that was met because in the last authentication, that last event log, I have that strong authentication claim in my token. And I think this is a really nice summary of when we think about security copilot. In the lifecycle workflows, it helped me do it a lot quicker, so it expedited what I have to do. In this case, it helped me in my investigation, but it's also suggesting next things. If I'm stuck, I could just ask it, hey, what should I be doing next? It's just there to help me do my job better.